What is going on, you guys? It is your boy Ohms here. We are back, episode seven of Kaiju number eight. Last episode, it was their very first mission going out, defeating a bunch of these little Kaiju and this big ass Kaiju that easily a lot of them were able to take out. It was a great showing for Division Three, showcasing at least with their first mission that they are a unit. Everybody was working together, everyone was following orders, capitalizing on certain things, and it was just a great showing all around, especially for the main one being Mina. Holy shit, she freaking made a statement. She had her gigantic freaking gun and within what, four shots? Completely annihilated that one big kaiju. It still didn't put him out the entire, I don't even know why I'm using him as a pronoun, but still put it out while also having the little kaijus kind of roaming around and everybody else taking them out. Either way, it was a great showing for Mina showcasing. She is a badass, man. For real, I love Mina. Mina is so far one of my favorite characters in the show. But speaking of favorite character, originally in the first couple episodes, it was Kikaru. Kikaru was my top character. I think I might have a new one. Oh my god, Hoshina. If that right there is a taste of what I could see with this character, I am freaking excited. I am so excited to see more of Hoshina in this show. But the main thing coming out of last week's episode, because I don't even want to go even long because I want to get straight into it, the ending. Where Iharu and Ichikawa confronted that one mysterious person that we've seen so many times. The one that infiltrated the final exam and almost killed Kikaru and a bunch of other people. I don't know who this person is, and we don't know who this person is. Hopefully in this episode, maybe we'll get something, because we're at least over halfway through this first season. I want to get some more intel. I want to get some more exposition with this character, why he is doing what he's doing. I just want to know more. So without further ado, let's get straight the hell into this episode. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys like my reaction, like, subscribe, comment down below, and if you guys when you're notified and release those videos, make sure to smash that notification bell. But with that being said, let's get right into the episode. Ooh, Ah, uh, this is okay. This is the rest of them watching us. But then again, they're waiting till after everything to clean up. Hmm? <laughs> My God. What is his motive? I've already said numerous times. Oh boy. Look at his face, dude. Huh? huh? What? Oh my! What? Oh my god, he can do shit in that form too? Oh my god. We need help. No shit, Kaiju number nine. Oh my god, is he about to transform? We need help now. Where is Hoshina? Actually, you know what? Screw it. Where is Kafka? Uh. Humanoid casual. Ah, <laughs> uh, great. Their comms are out too. Fantastic. Hmm? Undetectable from the outside world. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, got him in the lit. Oh, my. Ooh, they're not gonna make it out if no one gets here. Huh? Some kind of magic or something. Just fingers. Huh, okay. Okay, so we saw that coming at least. Alright. What the hell? Oh, he tried to use one of them freaking ice bullets. That's just the character that Ichikawa has been! Wow! Still barely got him. Ichikawa will put his life on the line for anyone. Wow, he did dip. Wasn't expecting that. 
No shit. No matter what, he ain't no bitch. <laughs> he will go down swinging. He will go down no matter what. Gotta love that spirit. Where is Kafka? Where is anybody else right now? Oh my god, I feel like you can't even tell when this dude's freaking gonna... I feel like you can't even tell when this dude's gonna strike. Or where, like, where is he even gonna be coming from? And he tripped over a... Is he gonna go back? Is he gonna attempt to go back? Mm. もう。もう。He was our he was always two steps ahead. Always surpassing. Is he gonna maybe come back? Oh lord, no! Dude, there's no way. Kafka, you need to get here now. Oh, nice save! Probably took a hit too. Ah, oh, God. The guy who hasn't changed a bit since that day. Mmm, okay, I know what he's saying. Ever since the day where Mina saved him, he's always felt as the victim. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I'm saving you, dumbass. I love that. Still, even two on one, there's obviously no chance in hell. It's either you gotta fight or you end up dying. Or go down together. There's, there's barely anything that the suit was doing than what it was doing with Kikaru in the moment. Then again, Kikaru had so much combat power. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Oh, stunned him? He's trying to use all different kind of bullets? Nice! Took inspiration after Ijikawa. Exactly, it's all about timing. Nice! Huh? Hit him with another one! Hmm? What are we going at? In this moment, you gotta hope. Where are you gonna hit him in the... What? I know that probably didn't do anything, but what am I looking at? Oh my god. Oh my! You gotta get Hoshina there now, man. Now. There isn't anybody else other than Mina, but damn it. Oh, did you hear that too? I wonder who. <sighs> oh, Kikuru as well. He's back. <sighs> who do I put in this situation? I say you gotta put in Kafka in his kaiju mode. I don't know if he's alive or dead. He looks dead. He looks dead as hell. Not yet. He is bleeding out all over the place, though. Oh my god. I can't believe it. 
Reno, you gotta take the bullet. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who's gonna show up? Who's gonna show up? But he's trying. Oh my god. Ah, he's still hitting him. You can't move. You can barely do anything. The will. Is he gonna? Somehow? Ah, and he's out. Oh my god. We need someone now. Come on, I'm tired of playing this game, man. I'm tired of it. Somebody show up! Someone stop him. Someone save him, yeah. It has to be Ka It has to be Kafka. It has to be Kafka. Oh! <laughs> what a shot! Oh, shit! Yes, it has to be no one else other than Kafka! Damn, he took- he flew his ass! Off of his corpse! Barely in the neck of time, you still need help in order to get him out of here. Holy shit. I really wonder also if Kikuru is also here too, or is it just Kafka? Obviously, that isn't going to take him out. <laughs> He's busted up. Get him out of the way. Hopefully, everybody else can't. Yeah. Maybe Kikaru is going to have to come in and maybe also save Reno and get the, him the hell out of here. The Sioux haven't do hasn't done anything in a minute. <laughs> Interesting that we're making light of the situation at hand. God, his Senpai. fucking mode looks amazing. <sighs> we're gonna get this matchup now. Now. We don't know what else that this dude is capable of. Dude, thing, I don't know what you would call it. Hey, you felt that. Uh, okay. Did that hit him? Did that really hit him? Maybe not as much as maybe he thought. Oh my god. What am I looking at right now, man? Is that... Why would he? He's taking on a Kaiju. Of course he's going to use max firepower. I'd love to see more than just one punch with this character. He's charging up. <laughs> oh, like a Sonic. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh, light him up. Light him up. Well, of course, is in order. Is he going to be quick enough? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, my God. Is he going to go through all of that? Still letting him up with punches. He can't even keep up. He can't even regenerate. Temporary. Good luck. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 
Oh, this is bad. Oh! Yo, how many blocks has he lit him up? <laughs> Holy shit. I was not expecting this. Is it really? Here, this is what I've been waiting for. Finally, his kaiju mode is out. Uh-oh. Well, now you're gonna find out where he is. Uh -oh. What's gonna happen? If Hoshina gets there before, Kafka's not gonna know what freaking hit him. Don't move. Don't tell me he's regenerating! Holy shit, he... How? That core. Then again, yeah, he didn't destroy the core. Oh my god. Gotta put your life on the line. Nice, good. That's the whole point of being a humanoid. So now he's gone. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, it's not the end for him, though. Get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, no. You gotta transform back now. I don't even know now. Oh no. Oh shit. You gotta transform now or you're. Or, or Kikuru. Oh shit. This is bad. How much time do we have left? Oh god damn it. We're probably gonna get left on a cliffhanger. <laughs> no, you're not gonna know what hit him! Oh my god! You're not going to see this dude coming. Kaiju form? You maybe will. That dude's face. The look. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no, I know we're going to get left at a cliffhanger, but no! 92! Holy shit! And now we're gonna get left on a cliffhanger. Oh my god. Alright, a lot of things I did anticipate in this episode, but goddamn that ending, I don't know what the hell is about to happen. I know one thing, he's not dying, but who else is gonna show up? Let's get straight the hell into it though. So here's one thing that I took away from this episode, and it was very early on, because it was with the dialogue that that person, or I'm just gonna keep calling, I'm gonna call it Kaiju number nine, that's at least what I'm just gonna call it, that I took from Kaiju number nine on what he said. He said that he was gonna at least not leave empty-handed without at least taking something. So he was like, okay, let me just take a live sample of a freaking officer. Let me, let me just take them. So this thing this person this whatever you want to call it is working for this organization and i can't remember what the organization was called but i swear we saw them in the very first episode you can let me know if i'm right close any which way you think i'm thinking that that organization is number one exactly how kafka became a kaiju and is more than likely how this dude became a kaiju now there's a complete big difference between the two there's a big difference one I don't know if maybe this person, Kaiju number nine, was a test subject, like somebody actually in the organization being like, hey, we need somebody in order to test this and to be kind of like our super soldier, so to say. So that is what I think maybe this character is from. He is from the organization and he probably obviously is inside of the cleanup crew in order to infiltrate them, find out more stuff maybe about Kafka. Maybe that's the reason why he was there because Kafka came from the cleanup crew. So just a lot of stuff with that. And even when he was fighting Kaiju number eight, when he was fighting Kafka, he didn't expect him to be that strong. So he was anticipating on fighting him eventually now maybe in order to 
recapture him, maybe to honestly bring him back to the organization, or maybe just maybe have him turn sides a little bit, maybe to make him join on what the organization is trying to do. Like, hey, this specific kaiju that you swallowed that one night and now like you've become what you've become right now, wasn't for nothing. This is the purpose that we kind of gave you and this is how we think we should do things. So they could maybe try to swindle Kafka into maybe joining them. I don't, I'm not really sure. But my God, the first time when we finally seen this character actually fight, number one, he's quick as hell. He has so many things that we don't even know about yet that he is able to do. This dude's unstoppable, absolutely unstoppable. And yes, Kafka easily defeated him in the very first go around, but of course he didn't take out the core. And if you don't take out the core, you don't take out the entire thing. So he was easily able to regenerate and get the hell out of there quick. But as we saw in that fight, Ichikawa and even also Uharu not giving up whatsoever, being able to be there for each other, and it just speaks a lot with their characters on how they portray themselves. You gotta love that. Once again, building that camaraderie and building that relationship, not even only to get better between each other, but just to also look out for each other. I just absolutely love that. But as we saw in the very end of this episode, Hoshina, man as the one person that I never, ever want to be standing across, especially when he is inches away from slicing your head off of your body. That is Hoshina. The look that he is giving Kafka. Holy shit, I don't even know what's going to happen. More than likely, Kikuru is maybe going to try to interrupt or something else is going to happen. I don't really know. But maybe, I mean, we do, those two officers did know that the Kaiju jumped in front of them in order to sacrifice, to put his body on the line and block those shots from hitting the two officers. So at least they know something. But for the rest of the division and for Mina, I don't know what they're really going to think. I, I, I don't know. So we're just going to have to find out what is going to happen in the next episode. How in the world is he going to take on Hoshina? Is it really going to be that much of a fight? How is he even going to get out of that predicament? There's just only one way to find out, and that is to get straight into the episode next week. Guys, thank you for watching my reaction. If you guys are excited for the rest of Kaiju number eight, and you guys like the channel, like subscribe, comment down below. And as always, my name is Omzi, and I am out.